Oh, this is good. Trad Catholic Monarchists. The Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priests use many 1945 missile customs. There are things in the 62 that I don't like, like skipping prayers at the foot. If there's a procession, ideally, should everyone use the 45? Yes, I like the 45. Um, I've talked about that before. Uh, there's a couple reasons. The count, the the number one reason uh, why I don't like the 62 missile is Holy Week. It has the Bugnini 1955 Holy Week in it, which is a disaster. I don't like it at all. Uh, it's already proto Novus Ordo. It's not as bad as what it became, but you can already see the cracks forming in the 1955 Holy Week. By the way, all of this is covered in infiltration in a in a short, concise way. Because a lot of people don't understand why it's a big deal. But yeah, I like the 19 uh, pre-55 Holy Week, so I like the 1945 missiles. As y'all know, I I encourage y'all to have, or everyone to have, again, I'm just a layman with no authority, the Father Lassant's missile, which is a 1945, and the St. Andrew missile, which is a 1945. If you want a 1962 missile, I like the Angelus Press missile for 1962. Uh, there's a video I've done here on YouTube, which is the best Latin mass missile. You can watch that and I'll explain it. So for the Holy Week, also the calendar in the way that feast rankings work, like doubles and semi-doubles and all that, I think the old way is better, although I don't know a lot about it. But from what I've studied, I like it better. Um, and let's see, is there any anything else? Yeah, I think maybe just like you see stacking of of day of feast days and colics and and then also you know I'm kind of learning more and getting into the traditional uh, customs of penance especially on vigils before saints days like the assumption or the immaculate conception or christmas uh those things are stripped out in the uh 60s